Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. If you have a barometer at home, it should be or it will be falling uh, rapidly over the next several hours. And that's usually a tip off of an intensifying storm system approaching the area. We're actually tracking it now across the mid-Atlantic. And as it draws closer and closer, we get more and more rain and stronger wind. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar and just widespread uh, precipitation working in right now. You can see some of these darker greens south of Block Island out towards Long Island, New York. This is the heavier rain advancing to the north. Eventually, when you watch Michelle tomorrow morning uh, in the early morning newscast, you start to see more yellow and orange on here indicating some very uh, heavy downpour. So the strongest uh, wind and the heaviest rain yet to arrive. But a high wind warning actually goes into effect at 4 o'clock in the morning through tomorrow. Gusts of 50 to 60. Could be some isolated power outages. I'll keep an eye on that. The flood watch with anticipate. Well, let's go back to the flood watch. The flood watch with anticipated heavy rain, uh, poor drainage flooding, uh, street flooding, some of the storm drains clogged up with some leaves, so be aware of that. Big temperature changes over the next couple of days. We've got a big warm up tomorrow in the 60s, only to have the temperatures crash back into the 30s. Very cold come Thanksgiving Thursday. More on that in just a second. I still anticipate some pretty significant delays at airports. The combination of these very heavy rains, the strong winds gusting, uh, you know, 50, 60 miles per hour, takeoffs and landings are kind of shaky. So be aware of that. If you have a flight tomorrow, if you're expecting a loved one in tomorrow, uh, some significant delays. All the big northeast cities from Boston. Austin, JFK, LaGuardia, New York, um, Washington, and airports like that. Here's the breakdown. The heaviest rain will be working in very shortly through at least 3, 4, 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, ending by Wednesday evening, Wednesday night. As far as the strongest wind gusts, they're not here yet, but arriving between 4 o'clock in the morning and 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures cool, upper 30s to low 40s. These numbers will actually go up rather than fall. Widespread rain in Providence right now. As we widen out the view, you can see all that moisture streaming in. The bluish snow, that'll stay well to our north and west. So this is clearly not a snow situation. Futurecast starts off this evening and overnight, showing all the rain working in. 8 o'clock in the morning, heavy rain and wind. Noontime, more heavy rain and wind. 3 o'clock, same deal. But notice tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, it pulls away. So later tomorrow night into Thursday, we're back to dry weather for Thanksgiving Thursday. Sunshine, but windy and sharply colder. Temperatures on Thursday, despite the dry weather, will be in the 30s. Whereas the snow, it'll be well to our north and west, upstate New York, and far northern New England. No uh, snow this time around. How much rain? Anywhere from 2 to 4 inches of rain likely now through Wednesday evening with some storm drains clogged up with leaves. If you can kind of clear these catch basins ahead of time, you'll prevent any kind of big ponding of water or some street flooding. So rain and wind increasing overnight. It continues tomorrow morning. Temperatures at that time are in the 50s, 55 degrees and up to 65 tomorrow afternoon. Seven day outlook, improving weather Thanksgiving Thursday, but brisk and cold. 36 degrees with sunshine, but the wind will make it feel colder. Wind chills will be in the 20s. At least the storm is out of here. That sets up for cold, dry weather Friday and Saturday. Daytime high only in the 30s and nighttime temperatures in the 20s. Also of interest, you know, the Newport Pell Bridge, there'll be a strong crosswind tomorrow morning up to 60 miles per hour. So high profile vehicles going over the bridges need to exercise some caution. Okay. All right. Thanks, Tony. Coming